Kendall Grove versus Joey Beltran. Oftentimes, Kendall Grove is a very frustrating fighter to watch because he's so tall, he's so rangy, he has incredible length on most fighters, but he doesn't use it. He's so aggressive that he, he negates his own range by moving forward the whole time. He doesn't stay behind the jab. He wades in and, you know, brawls with guys, even though he's six foot six. In the fight against Joey Beltram was the first fight I've seen of his where he effectively used the jab. He angled, he moved, he kept his jab long, he kept his right hand straight, and really frustrated Joey Beltran from the outside. He really used his boxing effectively. And he was looking for his moment to land that right hand power shot as Joey got frustrated. You could see his strategy, you could see what he had trained, and you could see it playing out. He actually, for once, stuck to the game plan, stayed composed, stayed behind the jab, wouldn't allow himself to get drawn into that Hawaii-style brawl that he loves getting into. And when he set up the power shot that knocked out Joey, it had been set up for rounds before that with the lead hand. It was a guy who finally thought, I'm tall, I'm long, I might as well fight that way. I might as well make it easy on myself and land that knockout shot. And that's exactly what he did against Joey, who's a very tough fighter to knock out, especially at 185. I think that fight gained him a lot of confidence. I think it set him back on track at 185. I think it made him realize that he's still a factor at 185 in Bellator, that a couple more wins put him right back in the title picture.